Ah, Gamba. Good evening, you know. Good evening, Solomon. How are you? Very fine. I've been looking for you. Who is that? I thought you'd be in your usual place, inside the house. No, Solomon. The air is still tonight. And there is heat inside. I decided to come outside. How was your choir practice today? <laughs> Let them go. In fact, I'm no longer interested. I'm fed up with them there. I did not go today. Why? Did anybody make you angry? I thought you said you cherished singing so much and that you will give it your own. Yes, Grandpa. I said it. But for now, I'm still looking at Tisha. But for now, I'm on strike. <laughs> Did I hear you say strike? Strike in God's work? Baba, don't worry. Hey, Baba, remember? You said you would tell me a story today. Tell me a story now. I want to know the, the history of our culture. Tell me about a story about our, our first kings and how they died. I want to hear. Solomon, don't you forget this. Huh? I had almost forgotten that I said something like that. <laughs> Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Well, but I would like to tell you the story that the Lord is laying in my heart for you right now. Really? Yes. That's wonderful. That's interesting. I want to hear it. It's the story of a Mosigo. Mosigo. A Mosigo. Who is a Mosigo? A Mosigo was a young, beautiful girl. Born into a good family. On the day of her naming ceremony, People came around to celebrate her coming into this world. And her father called her Omosigo, meaning a child is greater than money. It was a big celebration, as she was their first daughter. She grew up with the grace of God upon her life, as she enjoyed the comfort and warmth provided by her mother. God blessed Omosigo with the talent of singing and song composition. That even when she was eight years old, she was already writing her own songs with divine inspiration. Her mother saw all these things and kept them in her heart. At the age of 15, Omosigo was already teaching her age mates in the junior choir inspirational songs that God had laid in her heart. She could write, sing and teach so well. Even when some of her colleagues do not know the purpose of God for their lives, Omosigo was focused in her calling. On Sundays, she and her group will minister in church and their special renditions were always blessing lives because she was connected to the source of divine songs, which is God Almighty. She was known in her church for singing to God's glory. People were always blessed. thought your colleagues wear that song as I laid it in your heart during your choir practice. Do you believe I danced to it here? Yeah? Ah, master. Ordinary choir practice. Look at you. The other time David was killing animals in the bush in protection of the sheep. He thought it was only for protection. Did he not end up on the throne? <laughs> I take things seriously. Especially what you may not consider to be anything. Thanks, Master. I promise to continue in this area of calling. Yes, it's a special ability. 
The gift of singing I've given you is a very special one, which is targeted at the soul of man to bring about healing, deliverance, and transformation. David used it, and the evil spirit left Saul. The children of Israel shouted, and the walls of Jericho fell. In 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 15, when the harpist was playing, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he said, Make this valley full of ditches. And that was it. Their enemies were defeated. But does that mean that this gift of singing you're giving to me makes ditches? Yes, of course, my daughter. That's the implication of what we are doing here. Your songs are meant to dig ditches in the heart and soul of men. Through it, their souls will be captured. Minister to and the message will rest therein. Your songs are not meant for the wind. Let's be walking. Thanks, Master, for this gift you've given to me. Hmm? What could I have been doing in my church hmm? if not that I, I discover I just have it? No problem. It's just a privilege to work with me here. I do not call the qualified but I qualify those that I call. You cannot question me. Every animal in the forest is mine. Even the bears on the mountain and all creatures of the field are all mine. If I were hungry, I wouldn't need to tell you. I just choose you among others, not that you are qualified. Let's be walking. Thank you, Master. So, 